What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Gen Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, Kevin Feige seems to me like he wants to do a little bit less moving forward with some of these characters. And when I and what I mean is that from what I've heard in some some articles that I've read, Kevin, Kevin Feige let Sam really do his thing. He wasn't involved as much. And he's looking like really to perhaps do the same thing with Fantastic Four. Um, you sent me an article that Kevin Feige wants an established director. He, he, he wants somebody like Steven Spielberg, perhaps somebody like Mark. That would be awesome. Know. Yeah, I know. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be dope. I, Steven Spielberg, Steven, Fantastic Four. That's like a two billion dollar movie. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I, do you think Steven Spielberg will, will, will do it? No. You no. know, you don't think so? No, I think he's moved past that phase of his, he. I think the signal is the fact that he wouldn't direct that he set out to direct Indiana Jones Five, and is not ultimately directing it. I think is a sign to the world that Steven Spielberg is not doing that kind of movie at this point in his life. Yeah, yeah. Because don't forget, to do Fantastic Four 1 means you better be willing to do 2 and 3. And I True. I think Steven Spielberg's trilogy days are, are done. Yeah, yeah. So, there are plenty of established uh, directors. Uh, Brian... The, the, there's the rumor that perhaps John Krasinski will, will, will be the director. He's done Quiet Place 1 and 2, and they've both been, been really successful, and he's done a great job with those two films. Uh, and, and his future in, direct, in the director's chair looks bright. Perhaps he may do it. Um, but you said in a, in a previous podcast that his uh, appearance in uh, Doctor Strange 2 was Marvel's way of telling you that here, I'm, we're going to give you what you want. John says he's fantastic fool, but he's dead. That's it. So we still don't know what's going on with Fantastic Four. But Kevin Feige wants an established director. Brian, who do you think um, would be appropriate for this film? Remember, Fantastic Four has to be great. I think one of the reasons why Kevin Feige wants uh, an established director because he can't afford to mess Fantastic Four up. They can't fail, Brian. Fantastic Four cannot fail. It has to do well. What are your thoughts on this uh, possibility of getting an established director to do Fantastic Four and, and how um, and, and do you think he should go the original route of what he's always been doing with with these um directors and getting you know young and, and and not as established directors and they've been successful why it's why does he need this one to be an established director i think that the key to everything we're talking about here is what is established in the in the mind of kevin feige you know, you br you brought up Krasinski. He's a, is he a he's established in the sense that he has delivered two genre hits in horror. It's too, is too he established? Don't, don't like, see, this is the thing, right? When you when you say established to me, you brought Spielberg up. That's what I think. I think of Steven Spielberg, Christopher Nolan, David Fincher. Ridley Scott, like I start thinking, you know, Paul Thomas Anderson, like people that that's a short list, Quentin Tarantino, like that's, these are not people who are going to take that call. Sorry, they're not, they're not doing a Fantastic Four trilogy. I'd love to listen, I'd love to see the Chris Nolan Fantastic Four trilogy, not happening. Like, so what is established? Because if established is like, guys who have made a fine living directing solid but unspectacular work. I don't really want to see that. That's not going to work. 
just because they've got 20 film credits and they've managed a budget of $100 million or more at some point in their careers, I don't know that that means they're more likely to deliver a great Fantastic Four movie than finding the next Russo brothers who were anything but established when they were brought in to do Winter Soldier. So I don't really know what established means. Um, what I will say is, I think, I think the heart of Fantastic Four is going to be your ability to direct emotion and character because you have to get the family right and you've got to cast Doom. Assuming, I mean, I, I can't imagine this movie exists without Doom. I assume he's in it. So you have to get that right. And so if you gave me the choice, I'd rather have a director who was almost more known for, you know, theater or awards type, you know, performances than someone who's known for like someone you know like a, like a Zack Snyder who's known for the visual side of things like I, that's that I, you ultimately need that at some point for Fantastic Four but I think if you have like fantastic visuals and kind of blah performances from the family and from Doom the movie's gonna fail whereas I think if you have great performances but like B plus effects I think the movie can still work so I don't know who who that is you know, one name that did come to mind, I don't know if he would take the call. And I don't know how people feel about it. But Ryan Johnson kind of checks the boxes. You know, he's a guy who, if you look at Looper, Knives Out, you know, even Last Jedi, there's a balance there of being able to manage budget, cast really good stars in roles and get good performances out of them but he's kind of like locked into his netflix deal like in a world would he consider it and would the fans want it like is there still ill will towards last jedi and you know his star wars trilogy being scrapped and at disney like would he even take that call but he's a guy who did at least come to mind that maybe could balance like what we're talking about here i i think I don't blame too much Brian Johnson for the Star Wars trilogy because it's what it wasn't. There were a lot of hands in there. It wasn't his hand per se. Uh, it wasn't. You know, he had a different. I think. Story. I don't think the movie's bad. I think the movie's better than people want to say it is at this point. But, I, you know, he's at least had a couple of movies consistently where I'm like, he's he can direct people and yeah, yeah. creative, but. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's not that many people that fit this description, you know, like, uh, like here, here's an example of someone who would technically be a like the guys who direct the guys who've directed like the John Wick movies, they would be established, but they're not the right fit for Fantastic Four. Like, like they're great directors for that. Like I'll watch John Wick 12 when we get there, but I, you know, I don't want to see them direct Fantastic Four. Yeah. So I, let's see. Did you have anyone that kind of came to mind that directed something smaller or something else that was like, hey, I, I wouldn't mind seeing him get a crack at this or seeing her get a crack at this? I really haven't thought about it because the name Krasinski is always popping up. Uh, and, I, you know, and I almost feel like they're just going to go with him or he might just want to do it. Ooh, you imagine Ben Affleck. You know, that name actually did cross my mind. I mean, it, we're for, we're further removed from the town and from Argo. But yeah, I mean, this is a guy who at one point strung together, you know, three pretty creditable hits um, in terms of directing. I think he's pretty dope. And I was very interested in seeing his his uh, take on Batman. But that's neither here nor there. But um, yeah. Let us know what you guys think of the uh, Fantastic Four situation. Right now, it seems like we're getting a lot more news on on, on, on this uh, movie. Uh, so things are ramping up. Uh, so let us know in the comment section below what you guys um, think about the Fantastic Four situation and what director would you want for this film? 
That is it for do us. Do you want an established one? Do you want an established one? Like, is there somebody who you're like, yeah, this is, you know, the person who, this is the person with a big pedigree who would make sense versus going with trying to find the next Russo brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's our show. We'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report.